The city of Macomb is hoping to address lead water lines in the city by beginning the process for a remit remediation plan. KHQA's Hayden Donaldson spoke with city officials about the plan and what they hope to do about it. Hayden? The city of Macomb conducted a survey last summer to get to the bottom of aging lead pipelines in the city. The survey is due to an Environmental Protection Agency ordinance that requires a remediation plan by 2027. The city partnered with students from Western Illinois University last summer, with students going door to door checking to see who had lead water lines in their household. Now, the data is in. According to the information the city received, there were almost 700 confirmed lead water lines within the city and almost double that number of suspected or unconfirmed lines. Macomb Mayor Mike Inman says with the data in, they are ready to take the next step in the process. Our goal is to take that data and start applying for grants, whether that be state grants or federal grants, to help us uh, help property owners get their lead service lines replaced. Lead water service lines can be harmful to individuals, especially to young children. According to the EPA, symptoms of exposure to lead in children can lead to behavior and learning problems, lower IQ and hyperactivity, slowed growth, hearing problems, and anemia. The city says the safety of every resident is top of mind. What we're sending out into the system is, is essentially lead free. Um, what we cannot control and currently don't control is the service line that connects to our main and to an individual residence. And again, we, we are well on our way to identifying a plan to uh, help those folks that may need that help. The cost of replacing the lines is not going to be a cheap cost. The city estimates nearly $10,000 for each replaced line. And that's why the city has already started applying for grants. We've relied heavily over the last decade on community development block grants. Uh, those are issued by the state and federal government for underground infrastructure, both water and sewer. That's how we've been able to afford so many water uh, main replacements throughout the city, is through that program. The city hopes to have a finalized plan of action for the replacement by the end of the year. Reporting for KHQA, I'm Hayden Donaldson.